we're back here at uh, Tomas's system. They did a fantastic job of uh, uh, of the install. I'll uh, roll in, stick in some uh, some B-roll footage of us panning past the uh, the fully installed system, so yeah. they can kind of uh, kind of get a look at that. But uh, what uh, so what were some of your uh, uh, your your impressions of the install? Um, they showed up and they checked things out and measured and did a little bit of uh, recalculating because originally the designer had thought that most of the equipment yeah, would yeah, have to be saying, yeah. farther down and once we really measured it it became clear that everything could happen down at the panel end mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and that, that saved a lot that of uh, simplified material and material and simplified time. the time of uh, you know the heavy big conduit a lot of wire um so all of that i think worked to their benefit by not trying to rush it sure. in and just sure. say oh we got to follow so having that flexibility uh especially i as a homeowner didn't go oh no you can't be down here i was like Yep, wherever it needs to fit, we'll right, make it right, fit. Right. And I think having that <laughs> flexibility or giving your contractor that flexibility always makes things a lot easier than than creating, oh, no, nope, it's a change. We've got to, I recognize that it was much better for me to have everything down at this end mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and simply have the batteries down at this end. Right, right. And we, we decided that it wasn't worth stacking because they were going to stick out too far. And I had the space on the wall, so... Uh, a little bit of luck there, but uh, it worked out just the way we wanted it to, you know. So uh, I think you can tell with the three inverter space, they said you got the battery right, space. Right, right, right. Uh, it looks like it belongs here. It does. It does. It does. That's that, that's <laughs> what really struck me when I when I first saw the layout was you know it, it really does uh, it really does look like it uh, like it belongs. And so on the um, um, on the front end, uh, the permitting process and all of that went uh, went really smooth. Went you smooth. didn't have to deal yeah, with much I, of that. I they didn't did have it on to deal uh, no, other than you know I I provided them the uh, house drawing that I had when I built the house. So right, right. You were saying that wound up on the box. Well, it's we'll now show up that on the box. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. know it, it, it's shown up up again but uh, yeah that simplified uh, I think their their permitting side I don't think they would have probably drawn the whole house they probably would have just done the sure. garage <laughs> yeah sure, um, sure, sure. <laughs> so yeah as it worked out uh, they got everything shown and um, you know it's a nice clean uh, documentation of uh, you know what 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 what's happened so right right um, but no they the, the, the crew was outstanding uh, from Alejandro to Ruben to Ben and uh, Jesus I mean they all just perform nice, nice. Well, well they done, what guys. they were doing and they did a good job they really cool. did so cool and so uh, uh first impressions after you fired it up what uh, uh a little bit of a learning curve uh, or yeah you know it it it, it, it ben came <laughs> reuben came back on saturday mm -hmm. and we had a little bit of time getting the gateway uh we were trying to hardwire it with the ethernet and i had a little bit of issues getting the plug to work so we just opted the, the Wi-Fi because we had the signal. Sure, sure. Uh, I will get back to the Ethernet and get it done, but it, at this point the Wi-Fi is working fine, and the box also has a cellular communication with Tesla. So right. there's two backups now right. as far as it communicating, so I have no issues there. And yeah, uh, I don't have the cellular. I wish I did. The, it, uh, that, that was where my technology only, only yeah, hit up two years was yeah exactly right, you know right. but that was uh, yeah, yeah. yeah and 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 that's i think the best thing about the app the app opened up and boom my system was there put the email in uh, i already had the account set up and so it recognized me immediately nice. and gave uh, me the hi thomas nice. <laughs> and uh, said, yeah, you know yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, I started looking at the buttons, they're very intuitive. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can see you've got grid, you've got solar, yep. you've got battery, and then you have your uh, your house. Yep. And um, yep. you can see which way the power is flowing, where it's flowing, how it's going. Yeah, they did a really nice job of the uh, of the, the HMI, the human yeah. machine interface, yeah. where you're yeah. you know, looking at... So that interface, I think, is just, it, it works. Uh, I hope that we can show a little bit uh, how we use it and how we set it up. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, I think that that... Well, some of that's changed since uh, since I first did it. The uh, um, There's there's been some, some subtle changes and some not so subtle changes. So just like Tesla's vehicles, this is kind of evolving as it uh, as it goes. And so we'll 
we'll start to see more functionality. Yeah, you could and see all the updates that he right, already right. put in. And so I think it's really, it's really yeah. helpful to have those kinds of discussions because I do think that more than any other company that I think I could name, they pay attention. Right, you know, right. Uh, both They're directly and indirectly. They're listening to that, and, yeah. and 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 you know, if I figure out as I'm charting this that you know it'd be nice to know what yeah. this number is, uh, yeah, maybe in the next version release, whatever yeah, it gets built in, you know. So you just absolutely reach out, communicate with them. I think they're they're more than receptive to that. Yeah, and uh, you know, if it's a good idea, it's a good idea for everybody. So absolutely, yeah. Now I, it's been just phenomenal. So the first day. We plugged it in and the batteries immediately started charging. Uh -huh. And they came with some power already yeah. in them, uh -huh. which was uh -huh. great. Uh, so by the end of the day, I think I was at about 70%. Uh -huh. And the next day, I basically then that night just said, go off grid. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the house ran the entire night and at 6 a.m. I was out of juice. Uh -huh. So I had to switch back over to the grid and, you know, I got well, up and, and, and... You just happened to do that yeah, on, one of the, yeah. on one of the hottest days that we've had year. this year, yeah. you know. We, yeah. we suffered the same thing up uh, up there, man. It was the 28th, I think it was. Yeah. It was like, oh my God, yeah. Yeah. really? So my electrical spike uh, use looked like hair because <laughs> of the bouncing uh, compressor turning on and off all day uh, to run the AC, uh -huh. so... Uh, but. It worked seamlessly. Yeah. And, 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 and for those that are wondering, you know, that was one of the things that, that I was curious about too when we first did it, you know, was, are you going to have to install some kind of a soft start on your AC system, you know, to allow it to, to cope with the instantaneous power draw from the power? No. 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 And the house doesn't yep. even blink anymore. Yep. Yep. Whereas before the far side AC, whenever it kicked oh, on, I'd always I I always got that little dip. Uh -huh. You know, I knew uh -huh. it kicked on. Uh -huh. So that has gone away. Mm -hmm. The monster uh, uh, power conditioners that I have for the TVs to make sure that they don't get bad voltage, uh, you know, they smooth out the voltage. Well, they're reading <laughs> like they're supposed to now yep. at 117, yep. 118, you know. Uh, before I had the system, it wasn't uncommon on a IC day like that where I was reading 112. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, because the system or PG&E system wasn't able oh, yeah. to, to provide any more than that. So. Yeah, and that's spooky. I mean, I've one, I've one at the studio to, to monitor it. You know, and and yeah. and, and, and yeah, but that's not good for your your, your no, electronics. No, everything. Right? Yeah, you know, it's like oh, and I don't have I don't have a sweetener there. I think we're going to have to get a couple of batteries yeah. at the uh, at the, the studio. So so yeah. it, uh, it, it 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 worked just just flawlessly. So now I'm playing around with the app a little bit more and. I'm switching to my advanced uh, function, which shows me time of use, and I'm able to input my time of use. So basically at 10 a.m. I go to a partial peak, and at 1 p.m. it goes to peak in the summer, mm -hmm. and then from 1 p.m. until 7 at night mm -hmm. it's running peak time, and then it goes back to shoulder till 9, and then it's basically off peak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so. You're able to uh, slide the uh, app, and by sliding the app, you change the time, you change which, it, yep. mm -hmm. and then you set it, and you walk away, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's now managing itself. Now, you do have the ability to say how much reserve do I want in case right. there's a power outage. Right. So, what I'm learning <laughs> is how much do I want to do. Right. So at night, before I go to bed, I know that my battery's 70% full or 50% full. I may tell it save 25 percent with four batteries that's one the equivalent of one battery being full mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and save that in case somebody right. runs into the power pole and the power is out right then my right. house isn't going to be dark right. the following day so that's kind of what i'm trying to learn right yeah now. And, and, and as you go along you'll uh, well i would recommend that you do this anyway is um uh, at some point get it to system to charge to 100 percent and then do depletion tests and then measure the amount that is uh, uh, uh Come, that's come out of the power wall, right. right? And so again, you calculate in for that roughly five percent loss, eight percent loss or so that uh, that you have in there, and that's dependent on um, being able to bring that power back out quickly, right. right? But the goal there is then to be able to then calculate out what in kilowatt hours one percent is, 
and that will be very helpful. And, and, right, right. and that'll change year exactly. to year because that'll be valid basically the first year you own it, then you'll have to check it the second yep. year and third Last year. Last night as it was winding <laughs> down towards nine o'clock and I knew that I'd be going off off peak, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, the battery was at 30 and I realized I'm not going to make it. Yep, so yep. <laughs> I tweaked it to 28 and then it actually ended up making it at 30. Yep, yep. But I wasn't sure if it was going to do it. So. Yep. To be safe, I said, eh, just roll it back two two percent. You know, yep. let's see what it does. And, and, and that uh, obviously depends on things like your current load. I mean, you noticed also you were telling me that your AC use was quite high, yeah. and so you know there may be it's some. It's a twenty-year-old system, so uh, it's not as efficient as as mm -hmm. uh, the newer ones. So, uh, but it hasn't run. You know, where I say it's run twenty years hard. Right, it's right, run right, right, right. Very, well, very you, gingerly because of my you're climate. Where you and, are, yeah, 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 exactly. I yeah, get yeah, the yeah, natural yeah. air conditioning yeah. from the bay. Sure. The house is well insulated, so it's really you know a handful, probably under ten days a year where we really say we need the AC. Sure, um, sure. So it, 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 that's where I'm like, eh, do I really want to spend that money? I. That's why I put the money in the batteries. Right. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 that's where yeah. it's better spent. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But it's 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 phenomenal to see the results. The next day, you can open up the app and you can push on yesterday, yep. and it tells you the total energy that you consumed. Yep. It tells you how much you pushed back to the grid. Yep. It tells you what came from the power wall. It tells you what came from your roof. It's all there. Yep, and it is. It's, it's a really nice. It's job empowering. It really is. Yep. It's it's cool. So. Well, fantastic. Yeah. We'll check. Uh, we'll check back uh, uh, in uh, in in a couple of weeks or so, and you know, once you have. Uh, an idea of what you've settled on for what mode you want to run, yep, and uh, yep. we'll we'll talk about that uh, talk about that further. Sounds good. All right, now we'll All close right. the video out with some uh, shots uh, and some time lapses that we uh, uh, did uh, of During his install. Yeah, 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 yeah to kind of cool. see yeah. that and uh, uh, some overviews of the uh, of the system. That was just a uh, just a, they did a beautiful job. It looks like it belongs here. They uh, he just had the uh, uh, home inspected by the city. And uh, that was that was flying good. colors. Yep. His his comment was like, "Wow, <laughs> <laughs> I'm envious." <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He, yeah. He, he came around the wall, the, the wall, and looked at one look at it, and it's like, "Yeah, yep. definitely, definitely not not installed by a bunch of drunk monkeys." You know, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, he asked where the Ufer was. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that was your ground. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs>